A hot spring bath is one of the world's oldest pleasures. This one in the Japanese southern island of Beppu was discovered in the 8th century. Now centuries later, a company devoted to clean renewable energy hopes to harness the power of steam in its new plant in Thermo, Utah. Geothermal energy produces only about 1% of America's electricity, mostly because sufficient underground heat is limited to areas where volcanoes are or once were active. But that is about to change, according to Craig Higginson, chairman of Razor Technologies in Provo, Utah. We can now generate over a third of this country's needs with the resources and the technology we now have. Traditionally, geothermal energy plants like this one in California require large investments, five to eight years of construction, and only operate with high temperature water. Now Higginson and his team say their new 10 megawatt plant in Utah operates with much cooler water and an innovative technology. We have the ability to generate electricity down to very low temperatures, uh, barely hotter than your cup of coffee. And uh, that's changed the dynamic of geothermal energy in a major way now. Here is how it works. The hot underground water from a well is transferred to this machine, where it heats a refrigerant coil that produces steam, which in turn drives the turbine that generates electricity. And Higginson says there is another benefit. We're not taking the resource, the water resource, out of the earth. We're, we're bringing it up, we run it through our system, and we re-inject it back into the earth, all of it. The company's creators say this process potentially multiplies the places in the world where geothermal energy could be rapidly and economically developed. Benjamin Barker, the company's vice president, talks about the near future. It expands the opportunity for generation uh, enormously, both in terms of areas that can, uh, uh, that can take advantage of it and in terms of the total uh, contribution to national energy requirements that geothermal can make. You know, we're no longer restricted to the two or three places along the edge of the Pacific Plate. Razor Technologies Geothermal Plant in Utah, with its 50 modular generating units, was built in one year and is already supplying energy to about 15,000 homes in the city of Anaheim, California. Geologist Kermit Witherby is in charge of geothermal programs at the U.S. Department of the Interior. He says the modular systems could be the wave of the future in geothermal technology. The technology itself is, is an advantage because you can develop a project and, and maybe have one well drilled that, that is commercial and you can start generating electricity from that one well and start generating income and, and cash flow while you continue to develop the project. Geothermal energy is considered one of the most reliable sources of renewable energy. The Earth's heat is available day and night regardless of the weather. The United States harnesses more geothermal energy than anybody else and could double or triple production in the next decade or so. Razor Technology has already started its own expansion with nine other plants in development in the U.S. and plans to expand worldwide. For producer Zalima Palacio, this is Deborah Block, VOA News.